Hi, I'm Ben from Exocortex. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can do lighting with spotlights using Clara I.O., our next generation web-based 3D content creation tool. So what I've done here is I've loaded up the default living room scene. Um, the only change that I've made is I've deleted the one light that was in the scene. When you delete all the lights that are in the scene, you're left with a spot, uh, an automatic spotlight that sort of shines where you're looking. So as soon as we create a, a spotlight, or any light in the scene, that will go away. So I'm going to create a spotlight by clicking on the, the button here, and right away it gets dark, and I've got my new light here. So let's position this light. So I'm going to hit the W key, and that's going to go into um, the translation mode. Uh, and I'm going to position that using the few different viewports. We're going to position it a bit off to the side here, and make sure that is above the scene. That looks about right. Um, now when I want to, to orient it, I can actually just turn on the cast shadows for a second. I'm going to show the frustrum and this will allow me to orient it correctly. So I can then go into the rotate mode and then I can rotate it into position. Something roughly there seems about right. Let's um, lower the cone angle a bit. Um, and there we go. So let's just turn off cast shadows for a moment now that we don't need to position it. And we can see um, what we're looking at. So right now, without casting shadows, we do see that it has a pretty good uh, lighting effect. And we can change easily change the color, and that will properly interact with everything else in the scene. Um, we can change its intensity. Sorry, that was me setting a keyframe. Let's clear those keyframes. Uh, and we can change its, uh, its cutoff distance. So if we move that up really, really close, we'll see that we won't see anything. This is actually quite a large scene, so uh, I have to increase it again to quite a large value. Um, and we can change its exponential um, fall off, and that changes how the light looks. So, is it hard on the edges here on the here on the edges of the um, the, the the frustrum, or does it get uh, a nice easy fall off? So, we'll go somewhere in the middle. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to look at how to set up shadow casting. So, when you just click shadow casting by default um, on a very large scene, it actually gets a bit darker, and that means that um, the shadow map. Um, near clip is probably too small. So all we have to do is we have to set that bigger and then we turn shadows on and off. It really shouldn't change its intensity except for we should see shadows. And we can actually see quite nice shadows in here already. So let's just adjust it and we can see the shadows change in real time in response to our movement. We can easily take that light and we can clone it. And then we can um, move the other light into position and you'll see that the shadows uh, combine with each other. And one very common uh, a lighting tactic is to have multiple lights at the top, one or two, sometimes three. Um, although that might not be appropriate for a living room setting unless you're setting it up for, um, say, a TV show. So there we go. That's some simple um, lighting in Clara I.O. using spotlights. Thanks for your time.